Hi, this is Carl, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. This tip comes from Volume 3 of the Big Managed Services Operations Manual. So, one of the things that happens from time to time is that policies get old, procedures get old, mostly procedures. Policies, as a rule, are pretty stable. You know, we get paid in advance. That's a policy. Uh, we want everybody to have a backup that is a total complete backup every night. That's a policy. Procedures are how we go about that. And so the procedure might change as you move from a disk to disk to a, a disk to cloud system or disk to disk to cloud system or whatever it might be. Procedures change, checklists change. And so you need to make sure that you have a process for how you change procedures, right? So when you are changing procedures, you need to do several things. One is you need to make sure that you label the paper product as being obsolete. And the way you do that is literally you put one line through it. And you can make it with a pretty thick marker, but don't do, I've got an example in the book, don't scratch it out like that, right? So you don't want it to, to just turn it into a mess where you can't read anything because, hey, somebody might say, wait, wait, wait. What was the old procedure? There might, there might be some value in that. So, so one line through it, that takes care of that. You also need to update your PSA. Many, many procedures have some element that is related to the specific client or the documentation that you have in your PSA. So make sure it changes there as well. And finally, you want to make sure that it changes in your quote unquote permanent electronic documentation. So whether that's in a product that you're using or whether it is simply in Word and Excel and so forth, make sure that it gets updated there and saved. And I personally, I never delete the old stuff. So I'm going to save an old version of a procedure with the date format such as, you know, procedure 2019 0101, so I know that's January 1st of 2019. And then I'll create the new procedure again with a date format so that I'll know when it was updated. You might keep the new one with just a generic name without a date attached to it, but definitely date the old ones so that if you need to, you can go back to an earlier rev and maybe save those in a subdirectory and so forth. Again, Part of making sure that you document absolutely everything you do is you got to keep it kind of clean, which means get rid of the old stuff and make sure it's really clear what's new and what's not. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk, wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Like it if you like it, share it with your friends, and absolutely subscribe to the channel.